as college students return to campuses across the country, a new study out today takes a look at how young men engage to prevent sexual assaults on campus. Now, according to previous research, one in five women, one in 13 men, and one in four trans or gender nonconforming persons reported being assaulted on campus. And fewer than 10% of the victims actually reported the crime. The study now involving students at Northwestern and Loyola universities, as well as others, all found that male students want to help prevent assaults, but many don't feel prepared to do so. Tracy Vichers is the executive director of It's On Us, and she joins us now to talk about their work. Tracy, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Let's start there. I think it's so interesting because, you know, in the last decade or so, so many colleges and universities have talked about their programs to educate people about, you know, what is assault and what is date rape. But yet you guys found that many men just don't feel empowered to do anything to, to stop or to intervene, to stop others or to intervene. Correct. What we have found was that the vast majority of young men want to have conversations about the issue of campus sexual assault and the role that they can play in actively preventing it. But unfortunately, many of young men found that their school's prevention education programs were largely inadequate. Of the men that we talked to, most of them were at schools that completed online prevention education trainings, which they found to not be culturally relevant to their school. They didn't find the examples provided in the trainings to really be reflective of campus life, and that it didn't give them the opportunity to practice really critical active bystander intervention skills that would help them feel prepared to step in and do something if they were witnessing a situation that they believed could escalate to sexual assault. All right, and we're all familiar with these sort of virtual training programs that are given, whether it's at work or at college campuses. In your opinion, what type of a prevention program would work for college students? So what would you like to see? At It's On Us, we really like to be student directed and informed. And what we heard from the young men who participated in this study was that they are looking for in-person small group training opportunities where they can have really intentional conversations about what sexual assault looks like, what are the circumstances under which it can occur, and how do they intervene and how to actually practice intervening if they see a situation about to escalate. So we really want to see more schools now that, you know, they feel more comfortable doing in-person education and trainings return to providing those opportunities to students. We also found that the students don't want just a once and done approach. They don't want to just hear about this issue during freshman orientation or at the start of classes. They would prefer to have smaller doses of prevention education throughout the academic year to help them continue the conversation and build additional skills. But Tracy, you guys also found that it matters how the school deals with reports of sexual assault and people who you know, were found, found guilty or found culpable for inappropriate conduct. Absolutely. One of the things that young men mentioned throughout the study was that the way that their school handled an incident of sexual assault really impacted their perception of the problem. So, for example, students where they may have had one high profile incident of sexual assault happen that was highly publicized felt that the way that their school presented it was that it was a one off incident, mm. not that this was actually a significant issue affecting multiple students throughout the year. We also found that young men really had a sense of distrust of the ways that their institutions responded to these high profile incidents. They felt that the schools could just kind of afford to sweep them under the rug, not really address them. And then that really impacted the way they thought about this issue. For example, one of the one men, one of the young men that we spoke with basically said that if my school is not taking this issue seriously, why should I? Yeah, so they want a little bit more transparency. Tracy Vitchers, we appreciate your time. Executive Director with It's On Us. Thank you. Thank you so much.